So tonight we are joined by Angela Stock, who is the lead of student professionalism in the Faculty of Medicine, Health and Human Sciences, as well as the Doctor of Physiotherapy Applications Manager. So she'll go through a quick presentation with you guys to give you a bit more information about the Doctor of Physiotherapy. Over to you, Angela. Thank you, Josh. Welcome, everyone. Um, okay. So first of all, Doctor of Physiotherapy. So Doctor of Physiotherapy at Macquarie Uni is um, an extended master's degree. It's a three year level nine um, qualification. It's, um, it runs, as I said, for three years and it's only available as a full time study. That's a bunch of our students that are about to graduate now, um, well in June, end of June. It's the first and currently the only Doctor of Physio Master Extended in the state of New South Wales. And one of the nice things about this program for that reason is it aligns really nicely with international qualifications, particularly in North America. So if you're looking to travel with your degree, that's a really good thing to know. We have a mid-year intake and a mid-year graduation. So there's not many courses that have that um, in physio in the physio world so that's great timing for um, international school year entries but it's also great timing for Australia particularly for on graduation because in the middle of the year there's not a lot of other grads that you're competing with for jobs so our grads from this program tend to get um, jobs extremely easily for and that's that's one of the reasons why at the moment, it's um, the best value course in Australia. Um, its fees are currently lower than both of the other physio programs, sort of the three year DPT programs. Um, and that that's, would be a very attractive thing for people as well. The number and type of clinical placement experiences is one of our real strengths. Um, I can talk to this with um, great knowledge, because this used to be what I did in the program. I looked after all the clinical program, all the clinical placements. So in this program, you do over a thousand clinical hours. That number is important. Again, if you're thinking about wanting a portable program and you want to work overseas, you need a, over a thousand clinical hours normally to work in countries overseas. It also gives you a great opportunity at seeing a vast range of things in, in physio. So we will make sure you get to see um, some patients in private health and in public health. We will make sure you get to see all the different types of physio, so musculoskeletal, neurological, cardiorespiratory. You'll also do some spe more specialty kind of physio, so sports, work health, safety. And in the final semester, you get to choose some placements that you'd like to do. So you could choose, if you particularly like the idea of paediatrics. You could choose to do a placement in paediatrics. If you'd like to go um, overseas, you might be able to go overseas, depending on what happens with COVID. Um, we have some international placements as well. So you can see there on the presentation that at the moment we have three international placements, India, Ghent and London, UK. They, they've they been running for a couple of years now, but as I just said, depending on, on what happens with COVID, um, we may or may not be having those in the next couple of years. We do have some great specialty internship opportunities where students get to spend extended periods of time in some um, internship ops like sports, uh, lymphedema, rehab and paediatrics. And this gives you a really targeted clinical placement in your final semester if, if you've got a really good idea of what you'd like to do um, when you graduate. Another one of our great strengths is that we have a relatively small cohort. So we have 90 per, per cohort. We have small tutorial group sizes, particularly for practical classes. So 10 or 12 per practical class. Um, a bit bigger than that for some of our um, less practical classes, but that means that we can give you lots of personal attention, good opportunity for feedback. And the other really important thing, if we go back to clinical placements again, is that we also allow you to preference your clinical placements because we've got a good number 
and of placements and also we don't have too many students. We have an innovative and extended curriculum at Macquarie. So because we have the three years of the program, people often ask me what's the difference between the two and the three year programs. That extra year gives us the ability to give you more clinical experiences, but it also allows us to um, teach you more things that are a little bit different to what you might get in a two year masters. So you will learn about some emerging and current trends in, physio, in physiotherapy. We do some work in um, imaging for physio and pharmacology for physio, pain management, preventative health, some business management. We do a business management and law unit that's very targeted to physiotherapy. Um, the other thing that's a little bit different about our program is that in year one, you'll do one unit with the MD students. So you pair up with one of the MD students and you do some work uh, together and, that, and you actually go on, some on a clinical placement together, which is a really great experience. We're also really well known for our exceptional student experience. We have, um, as I said before, quite a small cohort. We have got a really dedicated bunch of staff and our teaching rooms and our staff rooms are co-located. So if you wanted to talk to one of, our, one of your tutors, you would just need to literally walk around the corner and, and um, knock on their door and have a chat. I look after, my role in the faculty is to look after student experience. So um, I'm very interested in, in keeping the students happy. I always say, when the students are happy, everyone's happy. So we do our best to keep our students um, happy within the parameters that we have. Um, we have very dedicated teachers and most of the people who will teach you in this program are still working clinically as physiotherapists for at least some part of the week or, or the year. We also have lots of great opportunities for student engagement. Um, Within our faculty, we have a faculty student experience committee, we have cohort reps, we have a board of advisors. So all of those things give people who really would like to get more involved in, in the program and how it's run, they give you a voice. We also have a really great physio student community called McPhiz. That's our student society. They run social events and other support kind of events for our students. And we have just set up a buddy system for international students where we buddy up um, a current international student with uh, one of our new international students. In terms of getting into the doctor of physiotherapy program, um, on the screen there, you can see what the essential and desirable requirements are. So you need an undergraduate or graduate degree um, where you've done quite well. So a WAM more than 60 and a GPA of 4.50 out of seven. That's around about a credit average. Um, entry into this program is competitive. So even if you have that, those marks, you may not be offered a place. Um, but if you have those marks, you're definitely eligible. And so you should definitely apply. You also need a minimum of at least one tertiary unit in the following areas. So human anatomy, human physiology, psychology and research methods or statistics. Now with musculoskeletal, that's highlighted in red because we need everyone to have completed an entire unit. So one semester's worth of just musculoskeletal focused anatomy as well as, a, as well as a unit that focuses on all of the body systems. That's really important to us because as we won't go over your musculoskeletal anatomy again when you start the course, it's really important for you to come in with that, with that background. We also need um, um, good English language skills, so IELTS of seven with no component less than seven. And this matches what our um, requirements are um, for physiotherapy registration. So when you finish this course, you will be eligible to register for um, 
for um, to be a physiotherapist with APRA, which is our registering body. And that's the same, that's what they require as well. They require an IELTS of seven. So it means that we're accepting people into our program who, who we know are going to be eligible at the end of the program as well. We also have a list of desirable subject areas that you can see there, biomechanics, exercise physiology, all the rest. You don't have to have those. It's useful if you do, if you're, when you're sitting in the classroom, it's useful to have done some biomechanics or ex exercise physiology. But if you haven't, don't worry about it. Our first semester, we touch on these areas to make sure people um, have got an idea of the important aspects of these different areas for physiotherapy. And we do help you um, brush up on your skills in these areas. We also find that um, students across the board are very helpful and work as a team together. So some students might come in with lots of um, physiology, for example, but not much, um, not much of the neuroscience background. Someone else might help them with neuroscience and someone else might be good at biomechanics. So we do all, we do tend to work as a bit of a team um, and we really encourage that as well. So if you want to apply for um, local applicants, it's an application via uh, UAC. UAC normally opens in um, early September each year for our, um, for our applications. We have, I have two rounds of applications. So if you get your um, application in before the end of October, I will have a look at the early round applications and make some offers before Christmas. Then um, the second closing date is the 31st of January. So that's the main closing date. Um, and that's when um, we'll make some offers then. So we have two different offers rounds. Um, we, you will need to, as part of the application, you'll need to download a supplementary form. Um, and that's on the UAC website. And if you think you might have grounds for applying for a CSP equity spot, then we will um, happily take those as well. And the CSP equity, equity application is on the UAC website as well. So we have a limited number of CSP. We give the majority of those out um, uh, as ba based on merit. So when all of the applications come in, we rank them um, the highest marks down to the lowest. And basically the top 20 will get offered a CSP around that number. It, um, I, I'm never sure how many I get each year, but it's around 20. Um, if you think that you have grounds for an equity application, you can put in for one of those that sits outside the merit base. So that might be there for people um, who have an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander background, um, people with a refugee background and people who live rural and remote. So there's more information on the UAC website um, as well for that. So you just need to upload the supplementary form, which is where you tell me where you completed all of those different prereq areas and your CSP equity application if it's relevant onto UAC and then um, I access those to assess your application.